What's up guys, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at 10 stocks that I am currently purchasing while the market is going crazy. So get ready for some free game. We're about to get it. All right, guys. So today I wanted to talk to you about some of the stocks that I'm purchasing now while you know, all the craziness is going on. I like to call it the big sale because, you know, so much of these companies are on sale right now. And um, I think now is the opportunity to go ahead and purchase. Um, the people who were purchasing during the financial crisis in 2008, you know, those people came out on top as soon as the market, you know, rebounded. And, um, what's going on right now with the market it can't last forever you know i am sure our government is going to find some type of solution to what's going on to the problem and you know this is going to get handled all right so one of the first stocks i wanted to point out to you guys today was amc entertainment for those of you who don't know amc pretty much operates uh, movie theaters um, they have you know reclinable seats uh, the seats are all red they're i think they're leather and you know they off well some of the amcs offer like a dining experience too so you know you could go on a date order you know some burgers and fries and have it delivered to your seat while you are enjoying the movie so that's amc but amc falls into the category of those stocks that are being hammered right now um, the government is recommending that everyone stays inside. It's actually given mandates right now. Um, like here in NYC, gyms are closed. Uh, most movie theaters are closed. Pretty much anywhere with any kind of public gathering is closed. And AMC is actually being hammered. Right now, as you can see, the share price here is $2.15. And I am looking at my Robinhood app right now in my hand. The 52-week high was seventeen dollars and six cents so at its pinnacle for the 52 week period it was as high as seventeen dollars and six cents and now it's all the way down to two dollars and fifteen cents right now so this is definitely a stock that i'm buying a lot of um as you can see here it's um 58 percent of analysts recommend that you purchase this stock and the stock on Robinhood is owned by 20,616 um, Robinhood customers. If we scroll down here and we take a look at my investment here, currently I have 68 shares. My average cost is $3.95. And my portfolio diversity only represents 0.62% of my portfolio. And my return so far is negative $122 and some change. And my cost is $268.76. This stock also pays a dividend. And if we scroll down here, we could take a look at that. And you can see here the dividend yield on this is 4.62%, which is pretty good. And it is... Uh, you know a small cap company the market cap is 136 million um, it has 38,000 employees and it was founded in 2007 but the thing with AMC is AMC pretty much another reason why I like this company AMC pretty much dominates the movie industry you know they've bought out a lot of the um, other smaller movie theaters and have converted them all to AMC's and like I said AMC gives you the whole luxury experience so as soon as you know the whole panic that's going on now as soon as that blows over you know within a couple of months I see this stock going back to what it was before and like I said in the meantime you can con continue to collect some dividends because they're still paying the dividends and you can use the opportunity right now because the stock is so low to kind of dollar cost average in. All right. So the financials seem pretty okay. But like I said, this company is, you know, it's pretty much a dominant company. 
Um, there are other um, movie companies out there, but AMC is pretty much, you know, the the king in that jungle. So that's the first stop that I wanted to show you guys. All right. So next on the list, we have EPR properties. Currently, as you can see right here, the stock is trading at $17.25. If you were to look at your Robinhood app, if you were to go in and type in the ticker EPR, you would see that the 52-week high for this stock was $80.75. So EPR properties falls into the same category with AMC. It's being hammered a lot right now because it's one of those companies that their business is... Uh, I would like to say the experiential um, type of entertainment. So they offer um, theme parks. It's a REIT that offers, um, you know, theme parks. They own uh, places like Top Golf. They also own a couple of movie theaters. Um, and this company is just being hammered right now for the same reason that people are being you know told hey stay away from public places stay away from theme parks that type of stuff so this company is really being hammered right now um, 45 percent of analysts recommend that you purchase it and it's owned by 3,775 people on Robinhood currently if we scroll down here and we look at my investment you can see that currently I own 30 shares my average cost is $41.58 it represents 2.17% of my portfolio and my return so far is negative $729.76 and my cost is $1,247.26 um, a good thing about this company is they pay a really nice dividend. The price has dropped significantly. They haven't slashed the dividend as yet. I don't know if they intend to, but right now they haven't slashed the dividend so far, so I'm holding on to it. Um, it's a small company. They have 62 um, employees. Um, the market cap, it's also a small company. Market cap is, you know, $1.88 billion. And the dividend yield right now is 19.18%. So the dividend yield is crazy high. If we scroll down here and we just take a look, we could see that the company has been beating earnings for a while. So it's, you know, the stock has just been hammered because people are selling off. Um, this company typically shines during the summer. So during the winter months when it's cold and people, you know, can't really go to outdoor parks like that then the, the stock price has a tendency to drop a little bit, but in the summer, it usually peaks. So if you're looking to buy it, buy this stock during the winter months. But now, like I said, it's a real good time to purchase because the stock is at $17, coming from a 52-week high of $80 plus. Um, I wanted to show you guys my dividends. It pays monthly. Uh, it pays $0.37 cents per share. The last dividend I received was on March 16th. It was for owning 10 shares at 37 cents per share. So I was paid a total of $3.75. Since then, I've obviously scaled up a lot and I intend to keep buying more of this company. All right, the next great bargain I think is going on right now is with ABR or Arbor Reality Trust. Currently, the stock price is $4.95 which is about a third of what the 52 week high was, which is $15.77. Currently the stock is owned by 6,184 persons on Robinhood. If we scroll down here and we take a look at my investment, we can see that currently I own 130 shares. It represents 2.72% of my portfolio. Uh, the total return so far is negative $722.64 and my average cost is $1,367.25. Um, this is my average cost right here of $10.52. And if we scroll down here, we could see that the dividend yield for this stock is currently 16.12%. So it's pretty high right now. It is a small cap company of um, right now as you can see here the market cap is 807 million if we scroll down to take a look at the earnings you can see that these guys have beat earnings for quite some time right now so the company 
as far as the financials seem to be in good order. If we scroll down here and we take a look at my last dividend, I actually got paid on this stock today. And as you can see, I bought 30 more shares today at $5.25. So I'm constantly trying to scale up on these stocks. My last dividend payment was $17.40, and that was today, and that was for owning 58 shares at 30 cents per share. So it pays, pays a pretty good dividend. Uh, they haven't slashed the dividend so far. No announcements on that. And hopefully they don't because I don't see any reason why this stock is down apart from the fact that people are just selling off shares because of the panic. So like I said, once that situation is rectified, I think the stock is going to go back up. Everything on the books looks really good and I only see the stock going up from here. Simon Property Group is another great bargain. The stock is currently at 52 or 51 dollars and some cents right now and the 52 week high on this stock was 186 dollars and 40 cents this stock is suffering from the same ills i would think i say amc and epr because it's a reit that specializes in owning malls and you know malls are a place where they're large crowds you know kind of like a public gathering so it's being hammered right now. And I think malls before were being hammered with the whole, you know, explosion of like e-commerce sales, you know, Amazon, that type of stuff. But here's my logic behind that. You know, the REITs that own these malls, those malls ain't going nowhere. You know, it's the, 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 the shops that are inside the malls that are not you know, stay in pace with what's going on in terms of their web presence and that type of stuff. So those stores that are suffering are, you know, the ones that will close down. And then you have stores, you know, like Foot Locker and you have Best Buy and those other stores which are doing really well. So I think this company is another great value. I actually always wanted to purchase this company and I never got into it because, you know, it, the price was so high per share. Uh, currently, 50% uh, of analysts recommend that you purchase this stock. It is owned by 3,070 persons here on Robinhood. If we scroll down and look at my investment, I just picked up two shares today at roughly $54.22 per share. And if we scroll down here and we take a look, we could see, you know, the market cap on this company is 20 billion. So this is a huge company. They own, they own pretty much malls all over the USA. And um, the, the company was founded in 1993. Currently, the dividend yield is 12.69%. So it still pays a dividend. And I think if, you know, you go ahead and get in now while it's on sale, you know, a couple months from now, maybe even a year from now, you're going to be thanking me, man. So Simon Property Group, this is another goal for me. All right. So next on the list, we have Mace Rich. This pretty much this company does the same thing like uh, Simon Property Group. It's a REIT and they own malls. Uh, currently, right now, the price is roughly about $7.53 uh, per share. And the 52-week high for Mace Rich is roughly, what is it, $44.73. So it's a far cry right now from the 52-week high. This stock is recommended by 50% of analysts to hold. Uh, it is currently owned by 2,317 people on Robinhood. And if we scroll down here to take a look at my investment, I currently have 60 shares at roughly $20.46 per share. My cost is $1,227.89. And my total return so far, I'm down $775.09. And if we scroll down some more, we could take a look at the market cap on this company. This is definitely you know, not as huge as Simon Property Group. This is a small cap company, being that the market cap here is only 1.3 billion. The dividend yield currently is 20. 
0.70%. So it's pretty high right now. And like I said, I think the stock is at a crazy deal right now. And this is just something that you probably want to purchase. Um, if we look at the earnings right here in the beat, we can see that the financials seem to be perfect. They've been beating earnings for a while now. So the company is doing um, pretty good. Uh, we look at my history here. We could see that I got a dividend payment on March 3rd and I just wanted to show you guys that real quickly. I was paid $30 for owning 40 shares at 75 cents per share. And as you can see, since then I've scaled up. I now own 60 shares and I intend to purchase more. All right. So the next stock is EQM which is pretty much uh, like an oil pipeline company. 64% uh, of analysts recommend that you purchase the stock. It is owned by 1,163 people on Robinhood right now. If we scroll down here, we take a look at my investment. My average cost is $14.55. I currently own 50 shares and it represents 2.12% of my portfolio. My investment is $727.36 and I'm currently down $227.36. If we scroll down here and we take a look, we can see the dividend yield right now is a whopping 40.57%. And EQM right now is way down from the 52 week high. The 52 week high for EQM was $47.66 and right now as you can see it's roughly about $7 per share. Oil in general is being hammered now but it's even being hammered even more because of what's going on. I don't see this company, the, you know, this country or the world, you know, getting rid of oil anytime soon. You know, yeah there are electric cars but there's only one electric car company. Everything else is you know gas and you need oil you need it for electricity you need it for a bunch of things so i think they're gonna rebound and when I, when they do you know you're just gonna reap the benefits but one of the main reasons why i'm buying and holding on to this stock right now is primarily for the dividends the earnings as you can see they've had a couple of beats but they've had a couple of losses as well so it's kind of you know it's kind of flip-flopping and that's like i said because oil is being hammered so hard right now you could do your own research and check to see exactly what's going on with the um the oil industry but um what i wanted to show you guys right now was my last dividend payment from these guys all right so as you can see here the last dividend i received from eqm was back in february february 13 to be exact i was paid nine dollars and 28 cents and that was for owning eight shares and i was paid a dollar and 16 cents per share so this company pays a hefty dividend and for that reason alone i'm gonna hold on to this company for now all right, so next up we have IBM, man, or Big Blue. This is a major, major, major force in the tech industry. They've been around for years and years and years, and they've paid a dividend for years, too. So this is a really cool company. Right now, as you can see, it's trading for roughly about $104. The 52-week high was $158.75. So this is currently on sale as well. 70% of analysts recommend that you hold this stock and it is held by 14,870 people on Robinhood. If we scroll down here to take a look at my investment, currently I own 16 shares. My average cost is $130 per share. I am currently down $417.59. And my investment so far is $2,084. If we scroll down some more, we can see right now the dividend yield is pretty high at 6.54%. This is a large cap company. 88 billion is the market cap. And it was founded in 1911. So these guys have been around for a while doing their business. IBM is not going anywhere right now. Not anytime soon. On earnings, they've had a couple of beats as you could see. And um, if we scroll down here and we take a look at my last dividend payment here, I was paid $16.20 and that was for owning 10 shares 
at a dollar and 62 cents per share and since then I've scaled up to 16 shares so my next dividend payment is gonna be great all right next on the list we have uh, 3m this stock is currently being traded right now at hundred and thirty six dollars and some cents the 52 week high was two hundred and nineteen dollars and seventy five cents so it's a far cry from that right now so this is again a huge sale 72 percent of analysts recommend that you purchase the stock or hold i should say and it is owned by 22,852 persons on Robinhood right now um, if we scroll down and look at my investment i currently own six shares it represents 3.42 percent of my portfolio i'm currently down 147 dollars and 48 cents and my total investment is 967 dollars and 74 cents if we scroll down here to get some more information we could see that this is a large cap company the market cap is 75 billion and the current dividend yield is 4.49 percent which is pretty good I wanted to show you guys real quickly my last uh, dividend payment from this company here and the last time I received dividends was I have two dividends here there's one back in December and I was paid seven dollars and uh, twenty cents and then in March they increased the dividend and I was paid roughly seven dollars and thirty five cents and that was thrown in five shares at a dollar and forty seven cents per share and since then I've scaled up I bought another share and I intend to keep buying shares of 3M the um, they're gonna see uh, an explosion in terms of like revenue growth as well because 3M is known to make those masks that everyone is wearing right now and they are selling them like hot bread at this point so you know I only see good things in the future for 3M get it now while it's still on sale all right so the next company on the list is Nike this one needs no introduction this company is a retail uh, clothing giant you know Nike sells apparel shoes the whole nine 78% uh, of analysts recommend that you buy the stock it is held by 64,000 uh, persons right now on Robinhood and um, right now as you can see the price is roughly about $64 and that's a far cry from the 52 week high of hundred and five dollars and sixty two cents so this is definitely on sale right now if we scroll down here to take a look at my investment currently I own 10 shares it represents uh, 2.70 percent of my portfolio I'm currently down roughly about hundred and seventy seven dollars and my investment in Nike is eight hundred and twenty one dollars and eighty seven cents this company also pays a dividend and if we scroll down here try to see if we could pull that up for you guys uh, take a look at the dividend here I have a pending dividend coming up for April 1st for one dollar and 72 cents and that's for owning seven shares at 24 cents per share so they don't exactly pay the biggest biggest dividend but as far as your investment once everything gets back to normal Nike is going to skyrocket again and definitely pass the, um, I would say, the $100 mark. All right, so the 10th and final stock that I'm purchasing a lot of is ORC or Orchid Island Capital. This is a REIT, but it specializes in mortgages. Currently, right now, the price is $2.87 and that is a far cry from its 52 week high of seven dollars uh, the stock is currently owned by 13,029 persons on Robinhood I currently own 202 shares and my average cost is six dollars and 29 cents per share you can see here that currently my total return is negative six hundred and ninety dollars and thirty eight cents and my total cost is $1,270. This is actually a small cap company. The market cap is $230 million, and currently the dividend yield is pretty high, which is $27.12. They currently pay a monthly dividend, 
And I have a pen and dividend here coming up on March 27 for $10.24. And that was for owning 128 shares at $0.08 cents per share. And this amount, like I said, is paid monthly. Since then, I have scaled up to what you see now, which is 202 shares. And I am continuing to purchase more of these stocks as, you know, my finances allow that. All right. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I really do appreciate it. If you like the information presented here, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and also go ahead and smash that like button. It helps out a long way as far as getting the video out there. Thanks again for watching the video and y'all have a blessed day.